How to Edit Markdown Files in Microsoft Visual Studio Rather than using a simple text editor with limited features, you can use Visual Studio to easily create, edit, and save markdown files both locally and with a source control repository such as GitHub. Even though Visual Studio is geared toward developers, this tool can accelerate your writing projects by making your editing process more efficient. This tutorial will help you maneuver the environment to edit Markdown files without being delayed by the interface and many other capabilities of Visual Studio. To edit Markdown files, we'll install the Markdown editor and we'll open and save a local Markdown file and a Markdown file from Source Control. Before you can easily edit Markdown files in Visual Studio, you must first install the Markdown editor. This all-in-one editor allows you to see a preview of your file in a separate window as you work. It also offers numerous helpful features including image drag and drop, keyboard shortcuts, and syntax highlighting. The first step is to open Microsoft Visual Studio. Then click on Tools in the top menu, and then Extensions and Updates. On the left hand side, click on Online. In the search bar, type in Markdown Editor. Next to Markdown Editor, click Download. Modifications will begin when all Microsoft Visual Studio's windows are closed. Click Close. Close out of Microsoft Visual Studio. The installer will pop up. Click Modify. You have now installed the Markdown Editor in Visual Studio and are ready to open the Markdown file for editing. Click Close. If you already have a Markdown file locally saved to your computer, it is quick and easy to open the file in Visual Studio for editing. First, open Visual Studio. Click on File in the top menu, hover over Open until a second menu appears, and then click on File. Navigate to where the Markdown file is saved, and then double-click on the file to open it. You have now opened the Markdown file and it is ready to be edited using Markdown Editor. If you don't already have a Markdown file saved to your computer, you can open a Markdown file within Visual Studio from Source Control. Source Control, also known as Version Control, helps manage and control changes to documents to avoid overwriting errors when a team of people is working on a project collaboratively. You can copy projects from your team's online Source Control repository onto your computer to make changes without compromising the original file. First, open Visual Studio. Click on File in the top menu. Hover over Open until the second menu appears, and then click on Open from Source Control. Click on Connect within the GitHub connection. Sign into your GitHub account with your username and password. Click on Clone under the GitHub connection. Click on the project folder you want to clone for your local files. Click on Browse next to the destination path. Select a local destination that you'd like to save your project folder to. Click OK. Click Clone. Double click the MD file or Markdown file. You have now opened the Markdown file and it is ready to be edited. Once you have opened the Markdown file and edited using the Markdown editor, you can easily save your work to your local files. Once you have finished editing, click on File, Click on Save As, click the Save As Type drop-down menu and click on Markdown File. Click on Save. Yes, you would like to replace it. You'll see your changes are now green. The Markdown file is now saved to your local files. Once you have saved the Markdown file to your local files and no more editing needs done, you can save or upload the edited Markdown file back to the Source Control repository. This will replace the online file with the edited Markdown file. Once your changes have been saved, click on the Team Explorer tab in the bottom right of the screen. Double click on the project folder where the Markdown file is saved. Your file will close, but you can easily and quickly open it back up. Once it's open, click on Changes, and then type in a brief description of the changes you made into the highlighted text box. Click Commit All. Once the changes have been committed, Click the back arrow in the top menu. Click Sync within the Project drop-down box, and then click Push within the Outgoing Comments drop-down box. Changes will be pushed up to the master or the online repository, 
and it is now finished. The edited markdown is now saved to the source control repository and has replaced the online original file. You can now easily and efficiently edit markdown files within Microsoft Visual Studio. In this tutorial, we reviewed how to install the markdown editor, how to open and save a local markdown file and a markdown file from source control. Thank you for joining and good luck with your next project.